Hello everyone, this is True Blibis here. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time we got both mermaid keys, so now we can And we're here now in the past to open up this key here with the alt with the one in the past. And welcome to level six mermaid's cave. Now, yeah, remember how we have both we have two keys? This is a really cool concept for this dungeon, and I kinda and I get that they don't want to overflow the thing with too much with the... Oh, where's robes? I forgot about these guys. Th these guys hurt. At least you can hit them with your sword in this. At least you can damage them with your sword in this one, though. As opposed to some of the other Zelda 2D Zelda games, which required something... Which required a different item, though, but... But... Where I'm going with this, though, is... This is a really cool concept for a dungeon, where you actually... This, we're not going to be going through one dungeon in the for this one though no. because remember we have the past we have the version in the past as well oh and oh these guys are annoying when you when you light their wicks they just go crazy so you gotta dodge them and oh gosh please don't come this way but yeah they are required but but like I said before we're gonna be going through two dungeons in here basically a past and present version and Stuff that you do in this one actually affects what happens in the present one. And this one, okay, this one. I think the order is this one. You're going to want the one behind it, the one in front, and then the one to the, to the right. I think that, yeah, that's the order. That's right. The torches will go out if you, you, you have to light them in the right, correct order. Otherwise, the torches will go out. But yeah, all right. This opens up this area here. And what do you got, Al? Beware of deep waters. What do you mean? What do you mean? We can swim here and... No, you cannot swim in the deep water. Yes, I knew that. I wanted. I just wanted to show that off. But yeah, you... Despite being able to swim in the shallow waters, you cannot swim in the deep water for, for some reason. I guess maybe, like, the current's too... See, like, the other ones with the ruffled current, I can understand having a hard time swimming in that. But it's something that always bothers me why the deep water is no good. But... Let's see... Mermaid's Cave is that, like I said, Mermaid's Cave, this is probably one of my favorite dungeons in the game, despite a little more back, being a little more backtracking, because I just love the concept of this dun of this one, where you have to go back and forth, we have to, we have, where it actually implements the time travel aspect that you, that's been going on throughout the game into this one. Think of this kind of like the Spirit Temple in, uh, like a little bit like the Spirit Temple in uh, Ocarina of Time, where you have to go in the past and in the, and in the, like both the Jungle Link and Adult Link. It's a really cool concept, though. I th although I will admit, I think Spirit, I think Spirit Temple, No Great Time did it better, since since you only did it one, you only had to go through each one once. Whereas there's stuff, whereas as you as you'll as you'll see later, there's stuff that w that's going to happen that we can't get right away, that we can't give a good bit. Oh, and oh gosh, more of these, more of these assholes. I hate these enemies because because they're fast and and they hit sticking hard. And I miss. Oh gosh. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There's another one too. Stay over there, please. Stay over there, please. Stay over there, please. No, no, no that's not staying over there. I hate. That. I really don't like them. All right, but over here we got more. Okay. Oh crud! I. I got. That's what I get for trying to rush it. We get mermaid's cave. This is. This area holds like holds some good memories to me. Also holds some not so good memories for me because this also was like around that dungeon time. Like I was getting stuck in Reward. This was a dungeon where I really did get stuck because of the time travel aspect. But I was a kid. This is when I was younger and didn't really quite get it as much then. And oh, oh yeah, these enemies are the ones that'll jinx you too. You can't use your sword. Those bubbles. I'm starting to wish I equipped the whispering now. Oh, and it's this puzzle again. Jump over, destroy the en I, destroy enemy. I said. All right, let's go up this way here. Okay, I was I was waiting for them to go ahead and jump so that way. And gotcha, two and one. All right, so what we got this one here? We got the compass. Okay, but yeah, we got yeah this it's like this dungeon, really cool concept. But I really wish they could have implemented a little better. But this is still probably one of my favorite dungeons in, in this game. Certainly better than the last... I, I like this one better than the last two, let me put it that way. 
Although we got this, we got this asshole again. We got th got these wizard ropes that, that that basically keep going a different way. They keep phasing in and out as they keep moving. I don't like them. I don't like them. They don't like me. Yeah, I, I don't like wizard ropes in these 2D games. The 3D ones actually are, aren't so bad because you have the because well it's just much easier to shoot them, lock onto them. Although I hate that wizard rope boss in Wind in Wind Waker. With the wizard robe one that's in Wind Temple and Wind Waker, but oh, you gonna hear it? Oh gosh, this is the first appearance of Floor Masters in this one. If they grab you, collect them. We haven't seen this in a while. We haven't even seen the Wall Masters in a while. But if they grab you, they will drag you back to the start of the dungeon, and things will respawn too. Not not pleasant. Okay, now up here. One of these is gonna sound weird. There it is. The one that sounds weird, you, you can blow up that way and... Okay, this area here, more deep water. There really isn't anything more... I don't think there's really more we can do here right now, so... Okay, now I wish I hadn't killed all of them now, because that would have transported me back to the beginning of the dungeon faster. So this is a good... I think it's a good place to stop the progress here, because there's not really much, much more we can do here. But maybe there's something in the present, in the other version of the dungeon we can find that'll help us out. Remember, there's two. Remember the. Remember, remember, there's two of them. And and, and I wanted to blow that wall at first because that is important for later on in this for la in the for the present day one. So like I said, really cool concept of 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 utilizing two dungeons in the time travel aspect of it. Really cool, really cool concept. I really wish this could have been implemented a bit more, if not better. But, it really, it's like, this is why that Mermaid's Cave stuck with me, is just because the idea, you actually, this whole game is based around the whole time traveling aspect of it, though, and now you actually have a dungeon that incorporates it. It's like in, it's like in, it's like in Oracle Seasons, if you could implement the seasons to, for it, though. But, unfortunately, that doesn't, that didn't happen in Seasons, to my knowledge, if I remember something correctly. But yeah, now we're at the present day Mermaid's Cave, where it's clearly way more beat up. And, oh, we got more of these guys. No. Also, the map of the of the present day one is no good. So we're basically getting two of everything. Two maps, two compasses, two of everything except the boss. There's no there's no real boss in in the other mer in, in the mermaids in the one of these mermaids caves. I just saw there was a boss in the other one though, but this one doesn't really have much of a boss in. Oh gosh, big blade trap. You can jump over it with your with your rocks feather, but not exactly recommended because if you mess it up, it, it is still gonna hurt. And I went the wrong way. Wonderful. That's what I get for not practicing this one. I went the wrong way first. Oh well. But again, it's like this still doesn't stop me from liking this dungeon a lot, though. Like, Mermaid's Cave was a really cool concept. And although, watch out here, these torches will shoot fireballs at you. Uh, hopefully, I'm not gonna have to use the. Okay, no, I don't think I want to go that way yet. Actually, no, let, let's do that way first. I might because I'm not. I'm. I don't even trust my own instincts now because I'm probably going to be wrong on some level. No, I'm getting a bad feeling that I'm. I actually should have listened to my gut feeling. I'm really. Yeah, I think this is a. Yeah, oh no, there is something here. Okay, what is this? There actually is something here. We're gonna need the King Samari going back. But, yeah, we get, we have like a, but yeah, the, this whole idea of a water dungeon as well. It's like, so it's kind of like a blend, but, as a mix of, oh wait, I think I screwed it up again. I, th I don't think I was supposed to go this way yet. Yeah, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I was supposed to, I don't think I was supposed to go this way yet. What's this over here? No, but it's just rupees. Yep, I was not supposed to go this way yet. Well, I could have gotten that, but that, that was a... Yeah, that was a bad idea. Let's see if I can... Okay, look. Speed away back over there and just try to make up for some of the lost time. Yep. This, this really is what I get for not practicing this dungeon. You better believe I'm going to practice with the next dungeon. Because the, ne the next dungeon, after this one... Oh my gosh. We'll get more into that when we actually reach that point. 
Okay, need King of Samaria here. Actually, make it back up here. But, yeah, I, I went the wrong way. I was not supposed to go this way yet. You do want to remember that for later. But, yeah, we weren't supposed to go that way yet. Dive down. around the, Get around these enemies here. Oh! Actually! See if I can hit him. Those enemies here that you can... I, I missed. But those enemies that flashing, that bouncing around in the pattern, you they actually can be killed with the boomerang. And those anti-fairies can be killed with the boomerang as well. So, that's why I recommend getting the boomerang, because it's a, even though it's optional, it's a very helpful item. But, let's see here. Let's just go this way. Okay, I think there's something... Okay. I'm sure there's something over there. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this whole... I, I said before I was liking it. I, that I love this dungeon a lot, though. And yet, I'm sucking at it now. Yeah. Let's play her curse at its finest. Okay. Good, good restock on bombs. Yeah, as you see, there's some crack walls there. We're gonna, we're gonna need bombs. Let's get the boomerang. All right, we're good there. But yeah, it all does just kill those enemies. Okay, this room here. Oh no. You can shoot it there, but it stays frozen in place as you're as it as it shifts. So you have to make sure you remember where safe ground is. So, and I missed. I missed again. Just go there and. Three in a row! <laughs> Alright, here we go. But, we can't get to those enemies here, so what do you have, Owl? Sense to do sa savage beasts. This is something I wish that. This actually is something I wish they implemented more in this game. Remember how the scent seat was said a while back that uh, it attracts, an attracts monsters? Open a scent seat, it will lure the the monsters all away like towards it though and into their doom i really wish this was something that could have been implemented more because really the sense is just basically there to be your main source of ammunition otherwise it really sucks because it really is a cool it's a cool idea it's like it, it, these are just things in this game i wish could have been implemented more and, I, th oh, I thought i just plummeted my doom there all right so let's Hit that one. Hit the switch again. Go up this way. And remember, we need. Remember, there was a bomb. There was some bombable stuffs here. So, also, yeah, the fact that the one space surrounded by two blocks, with two blocks there, isn't a clue. Don't want to get grabbed by the floor master, because it will suck if I, if I don't get, if I have to go backtrack and do all that again. All right. You don't want to get, be nice and get caught in the, No. Alright. Oh, this one. No. Alright. You want to hit the lineup to hit... For all of them to hit the, on their respective color and... Oops. But, it can get a little tricky because you have to be very careful about how you line up the block. Because if you set it up and mess it up and put it against an edge... And like I guess one of those edges, you were stuck and had to reset. Okay, I think this is how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, and there. Okay, thank goodness. Got a key. I don't want to get a compass here. No, we didn't. Oh, also, I forgot to mention as well that obviously, yeah, it's shaped like a mermaid, but I'll draw this more. I'll draw this more deep. Show this. I'll show this a bit more when we get back to the. But it's basically a collapsed ver this basically is a collapsed version of the present day one because remember how the present day one had like a had a, had like two floors. Oh, and also this is why you wanted to bomb that earlier because that, that will not be there if you had not done that. So, okay, so I want to go this way first, I think. Yeah, you do because there's a, there, there's another item over there that we need. So yeah, more of these little shit puzzles, which I don't remember. I think we've seen these. I don't think we've seen these since Moonlit Cap. The Moonlit Grotto. But get ready to see more of these because th th these beco do become more vital pu puzzle puzzle pieces later on. Oh, and I think we also have an enemy that we haven't really talked about. These are Gibdos. However, if you burn them, they just reveal a Stafos. And I actually <laughs> hit him as he landed. That's actually kind of funny. 
But in any case, let's go this way. He got a third key. Okay, we're, we're still doing okay time-wise. Okay, I'm definitely gonna wanna because there is a mini boss coming up. Because I want to. Okay, that that did nothing. Okay, let's just speed through this now. And but yeah, but yeah, Gibdos will not will not recoil from the sword. That, even even from the strongest swords. So okay, now I want to go this way here. And now, now I'm gonna be utilizing both of these to get you to go the other way. It's uh, again, it's like I just thought, like I said, this is really again, like I said, really puzzle oriented. But again, there's just too much. There's just a lot. Again, you'll be seeing that little. You'll be seeing that a lot in this one because they they really, they really start using that in the later dungeons. All right, so now let's go up this way. Got the key here and. Huh. I am Vire, Varen's loyal henchman. I heard someone was trying to stop Varen, so I came here, but it's just some kid. Fine, I can handle you. Yeah, so Vire, in it, much like in his Link's Awakening counterpart. Ouch, pesky kid, take this. You have to wait for him to come to you to land a hit, but it can be a bit annoying. Boy, that's it, I'm serious. Especially here where he starts becoming, he starts keeping his distance more. In fact, actually, I want to see something. Oh no! You, you, okay, okay. I thought you could hit him. I, I thought you could hit him. So now it just maybe becomes a patience game as far as like trying to lure him close. It can get a bit, a bit annoying. Use the rocks feather to jump over the attack. So okay, come on, come here, come here, Vire. But yeah, much like how they were in the. But yeah, Vire also was an enemy in the original Zelda game as well. Oh, nest. Uh, he was a he was like a blue bat like thing. But we'll see here, which I th which this guy also has a reference to that, to that form as well. Come on, come on, come closer, come closer, come closer. Okay, he's doing using this attack now. So you got. All right. So which way are you coming? In? Oh, you guys gotta watch these shots as well. Come on, come on, Vire. I really hate this fight just because it's just because it's a patient boss more than it is an actual boss than an actual fight though, because he just starts keeping his distance and just shooting at you, and you can't shoot him with the seed shooter. Come on, Vire. There we go. Fine. Goodbye. And he splits the two forms like it, like in the other one. They will come after you after a while, so you can just shoot. You can just you can just you know, so you can just hit them that way. Ouch! I paid for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Varen. Gar! So yeah, this won't be the last. This, probably won't, this won't be the last time we'll see Varen in these games. But he's gone for now. But yeah, big reference to the original to the original Zelda game because he even as he finishes off. Because in the original Zelda game, if you if you couldn't defeat kill Vire right in one shot, he would, he was split into those small forms, and then whenever you left the room, he would always respawn. But get over here, we get. The a mermaid suit. Now you can swim in deep waters. Press the control pad to, to swim, B to dive, and A to use items. So yeah, just like it. So yeah, now we have an upgrade to our swimming equipment. So now, we, so now our, the deep waters are no problem. But so now that we have that. I think this is a good place to end off this video. So next time on Legend, well, I'm gonna have to start head back to the entrance first. So next time on Oracle Ages, we're gonna be continuing further into the mermaid's cave, seeing what else we can get here before. Returning with our newfound mermaid suit to the past. So until then, see you guys then.